Hey guys, I'm Sean Cheek of WebPianoTeacher.com. How you doing? Today I'm going to teach you how to play the beginning of River Flows in You by C. Siang Wong. It's a great piano arrangement. Um, it just sounds really beautiful. I think you'll like it. Let's take a listen. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There's the first couple of lines there. So I teach without using traditional music notation, but I do use a notation. It's uh, my whiteboard method that I've used for many, many years. And if you're someone who's struggled with reading notes um, and you feel like you're talented or you love music, this way is, will probably work for you. That's usually the formula that people tell me uh, works for them. So, you know, try it. It's worked for millions of people across the world. Maybe it'll work for you. All right, so let's go with less, uh, uh, bar one here. We have an F sharp minor in the left hand f sharp c sharp f sharp so that's one hand position so you want to go ahead and get there before you start it don't play the f sharp okay let's find the c sharp go ahead and get there for the whole thing and then get there for the d a e that's also another one d chord it's actually d add nine okay but i have i get there i want then i get there all right so the right hand's up here Here's middle C, the next C, so you're actually up here. A, G sharp, A, G sharp, A, E, A, D. So one little five-finger pattern is all you need. Or five-finger position. Okay, so you put your hands together. One, two, three, four. And you must count to four inside. Feel that, those four counts, or you will rush. We all rush unless we are aware and, and take care not to. So the next one's a lot the same. The only difference is you have this little ba ba bum, the A C sharp before it. So you just you know you get in position. A C sharp can be with one and two, and then you're off to the races. The next one, one, two, three, four. Now this one kind of starts the same, but you add a little more after that. The left hand is the same D A E. And you got one extra D here. This 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 didn't have it, but now you have it. <clears throat> on the right hand, A, C sharp, A, ba ba bum, G sharp, A, A, D, A at the end. Okay, so you have, ba da dun dum ba ba bum, hear the groups, ba ba bum, ba bum, bum, hands together. Okay, that's the toughest measure so far. So, what you do now? Well, you've learned. You know, two, two, three, four measures here. How many is it? One, two, three, four, five. It's actually five measures. Um, but you learn some links in the chain. Now you need to practice that. You've done, you spent time in the classroom learning. Now you need to play and, and do some good repetitions of those measures you've learned instead of trying to push forward. All right? You need to take small bites and, and digest that before you move on. So let's see if we can play now the first line. All right. And go. One, two. Three, four. Three, four. Here we go. All right, guys. So here's our part one that we do for free on YouTube. If you like the lessons, this is just the tip of the iceberg. You can learn the whole thing on webpianoteacher.com. You can also download my sheets for that. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Talk to you later.